Hey everyone, awesome Dizzy Toys here, and we have a code red! We have a code red! <laughs> Just kidding. But we do have a code red, a Mountain Dew code red. And I'm sure you guys have already guessed by now since I'm pouring in the Mountain Dew code red into this pot. But we're gonna make some more gummy bottles. Hopefully this one's as good as all the other ones. We'll need eight packets of unflavored gelatin. Four and two at a time. There's two, four, six, and eight. What in the world is this? Doesn't this look appetizing? Well, let's use our wooden spoon to mix this until all the powder dissolves. And once you do that, put your stove on low heat for about five to ten minutes. While we wait for that, let's peel the label off the bottle. This is very important, so make sure you have it, because this label will make the gummy bottle look super real. Alrighty, let's use the X-Acto knife to cut a line down the middle of this bottle. Uh-oh, now we have a code red. This bottle's injured. No worries. We have some duct tape to cover the wound. Woo! Things are heating up here! Alright, so the liquid is at the temperature we need it to be. So let's let it cool now. And once it's cool, we can pour it back into the bottle. We are making some Mountain Dew Code Red Gummy Bottles! All the way to the top. Woo! Now I'll put the cap back on and put this in the fridge overnight. See everyone tomorrow. Welcome back. Our bottle is nice and cool. Let's take off the duct tape and see what we got. Woo! No spills. Let's use the scissors to cut open the plastic, carefully, like I always say. Well, how are you doing, Mr. Gummy? Quite squishy you are. Let's keep tearing the plastic. So far, the color of the gummy bottle is perfect, so we shouldn't have a problem with the color. Let's keep ripping the bottle. The detail of the bottle is also perfect, as you can see. I'm ripping the plastic off, and the design looks the same on the gummy bottle. Let's remove this bottom portion. Careful, careful, careful. Careful. Whoa! Finally got you out. Now let's take a look. Whoa, check this out, it came out perfectly! You can even see the Mountain Dew logo on the bottle! Pretty neat! Now, as long as this top part is good, this gummy bottle should be perfect! Am I holding the Mountain Dew Code Red bottle? Nope, it's the gummy bottle! Let's wrap this label around... And it should look like an exact replica. I know I made this gummy bottle, but I still can't get over the fact how real this looks. And when you put the cap on, you could seriously fool some people. Time for the good stuff. Let's cut this up and prepare to taste test. Who wants a big piece of the Mountain Dew Red Gummy? I do! Now sharing is caring, so let's cut these up into smaller bite-sized pieces. Mmm, this one smells really good. Alright. Here goes nothing! Mmm, wow! Okay. This one is really good, and trust me when I say this, because I've had a lot of these. 
in my opinion, this one doesn't even need corn syrup. I mean, if you want to make it really sweet, you can, but it's not that bland, and it really tastes like Mountain Dew Code Red. I really like it. In fact, I like it so much, after I cut this all up, I'm gonna go for another bite. This is really good! We have a code red! My taste buds are going crazy! Well, this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter! The links are in the description box below!